Hey, hey guys, welcome to the video. So this is something a little unusual. I'm going to compare things I'm observing in the camera YouTube world versus software development. One of these emerging universal principles that I've uh, seen in martial arts, I've seen in business as well. So I think it might be an interesting life lesson, but not only a software development lesson. One of the things I talk about in my many videos and people will say over and over again, Steph, you're saying it again. And what I say is that the language doesn't matter. Learn your fundamentals and then you're just going to use whatever technology is best suited for the job at hand, right? So if you're writing uh, client-side applications, web apps for a small business, I recommend PHP or you can use Python. You can use, uh, you can use uh, Ruby, I guess, uh, you know. That's, that's that ideal solution. Traditionally, if you're going to write a mobile application, native mobile, if you wanted ultimate speed to produce a game or something, you would use Swift or you would use uh, uh, Kotlin or Java for Android, Swift for iOS, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Although that paradigm is maybe shifting now with mobile development because of Flutter. Anyway, I've talked about that in another video. So one of the universal points that I made is that the languages, generally speaking, and the frameworks, generally speaking, are not hugely important. Yes, for mobile, like I said, for small business web development, for web apps, I'm pushing typically PHP for reasons I've discussed. Although you could do a great job in any of the other languages, which you're going to find, as I said over and over again, languages have their pros and cons. Once you learn one language, everything else is pretty cool. So let's flip it over to cameras and video cameras. One of the things that people do in the video camera game or the camera game is they're looking for the perfect camera. They're looking for the best camera to create my vlogs in, the best camera to shoot my little movies in, the best camera, they're looking for the best camera. So they got these guys who are chasing specs. You know, which camera shoots 4K? Which camera has the best autofocus? Which camera has the best dynamic range? Etc. 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 All these things are important depending on your use case. So I'll give you a very simple example. So I'm using a professional cinema camera from Canon. And the reason I'm using this camera, and it's overkill admittedly, but the reason I'm using this camera is because it really makes it easy for me to put out my work. It has a tremendous workflow advantage over other cameras. And that's one of the main reasons why you pay a premium for a professional product so that you get a workflow advantage. That's how it is with frameworks, web frameworks, or any type of framework in software development and languages. You want to pick the, the best framework, the best stack, the best language for your job that will facilitate the workflow more than anything else. Performance, really, I'm not going to see a massive performance difference in uh, different languages in today's applications. Again, depending on the circumstances, right? If you're writing a controller to manage, uh, I don't know, a remote control on a fridge or something, you're probably going to be doing that in C++ for speed. But when it comes to, let's say, web apps, whether you build a web app in PHP, Python, C Sharp, uh, .NET, uh, Rails, uh, XYZ framework, you're probably going to be able to, you're going to get a re relatively similar performance for most situations, regardless of the language. You're going to find certain languages are better than the others, depending on the type, the specifics of your application. Same thing with cameras, by the way. This is a premium camera that I'm using. It's very expensive. But for me, the fact that it has this this great autofocus, which is a world-class autofocus, which is very important because there's nobody, there's nobody manning the camera. So I needed a camera system that had an amazing autofocus. On the other hand, if I was a documentary filmmaker or somebody always behind the camera controlling it, the autofocus is not new as important because you have somebody controlling it who could control the focus. The autofocus would be nice, but still a lot of pros will still use manual focus because they, they know they'll hit it and they'll hit it properly. You see where I'm going with this? If I was doing sports videos, I wouldn't have this massive cinema camera. I would use a GoPro, right? I would use a GoPro, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I see the same things. I see the old pro, the old pro cinematographers, they recognize that. And they will choose their gear based on the job. 
Sometimes they'll choose the Canons. Sometimes they'll choose the Red. Sometimes they'll choose the Ari, you know? And, uh, and the specifications really are there to be considered given the type of work that you're going to do. You may need autofocus, so you get a camera with autofocus. You may not need autofocus. There's not one thing is universal. Canon is very popular, by the way, with professionals because it has a workflow and a usability that is superior, and they sell, they all sell all the other camera manufacturers. Uh, I think that's one of the big reasons is because the cameras are just ergonomically well-designed, essentially amazing UX. And the product coming out of the camera, naturally, by default, it looks really good. You don't have to mess around with it. Whereas you have other uh, cameras, Sony is very popular. Sony can produce beautiful images, but apparently, I don't have a Sony, but apparently, from everything I've seen, it takes a lot more work to get the Sony picture to look good. It takes a lot more work. Like the camera itself, the ergonomics, the UX of the Sony cameras are much more difficult to play with than the UX of the Canons. So if you look at the last batch of uh, Oscar-nominated documentaries, they were all shot on Canon. And even older Canons. Why? Because they're dependable and they're easy and they output a good-looking image quickly. Now, Sony fanboys or Panasonic fanboys will argue about the specifications. They'll say, well, the Sony is better at this. It has a higher this and that and the other thing. But at the end of the day, usability and just uh, ease of use, usability, use, ease of use, and easy ergonomics is, um, is king. And I think you see the same thing. I've seen the same thing with uh, software development in the software development world. I've seen easier to use languages ergonomics, if you will, of the language of the framework, typically win out. So in a, pre, in a recent video, I talked about how I thought that uh, cross-platform, non-native mobile development frameworks like, uh, like React Native, uh, whatever, and there's several others, and Flutter, which actually compiles to native, I thought these things were going to overtake native development simply because they were easy. They were easy, saved you a lot of time. At the end of the day, for me, in my opinion, all this technology that we play with is just to save time. That's all it is. It's there to save us time. If a technology makes your life easier, then you're doing better. So that's uh, how I look at it. How, that's how I look at Studio Web. When I provide this software, Studio Web, a lot of schools use it to teach students how to code. And its main it has several goals, of course. The material has to be good, so you have to get uh, you have to get a result, meaning students have to learn. But one of the big uh, selling features is how easy it is for people to use it, teachers, students, and uh, administration too. So I talked in a, in a recent video where I talked about how we're adding now a new feature because the back end management of the school, the people who manage the whole all the processes, they need something in there just to make their lives easier. And that's all they care about. At the end of the day, when they're looking at your software, they just want, they want your software because it makes their lives, lives easier. That's the whole point of software. Anyway, that's it for now. Bye-bye.